So the chapter is picking up from where we last saw Reggie versus Megumi. We get a really thorough explanation here, revealing that Max Elephant is putting on the pressure here of an actual elephant. So this should be killing Reggie here under normal conditions. And just bearing this weight, this ends up fracturing his right fibula and heel. But Megumi is also still pushing back against the cars from earlier. So they're both just trying to crush each other here. So then we see Reggie talking. He's talking about his trump card. And during this monologue, he's thinking he could activate it while inside the shadows. But then he says to himself, what if after he dies, I'm trapped? inside the shadow forever. So in my last video where I talked about chapter 171, it seems like I was right when I assumed that Reggie was under the impression that Megumi's domain expansion is still complete. This is why we're seeing in this chapter that he's hesitant to killing Megumi while in the shadows because if Megumi's domain just shuts down, it could just swallow him once the domain's been nullified, assuming this was a complete domain. So whether or not this is true, you can see how Megumi has the upper hand here without even knowing it. And then after deciding to pull his trump card, we see him just get crushed by Max Elephant before we can even see what it was the shadows here are like water so he compares the feeling to drowning and then megumi says to himself not yet endure it i gotta make sure he's really dead before releasing my domain so this is going back to what i've been saying for a while now that it looks like megumi's very intent on straight up killing reggie so you can notice this really dark transition to his character we've been getting lately even in the way he fights because we've always known megumi's a natural talent and has this amazing fight iq but you can notice his approach to this fight is just so different than usual i know i'm not explaining it very well but very reminiscent of what we saw from Toji. And it looks like Reggie is wrong maybe because considering Megumi says he has to make sure he's dead before releasing his domain, I guess this is telling us that even though the domain is pulling Reggie deeper into the shadows, this would most likely stop if Megumi nullifies the domain. In other words, if the domain was complete, then maybe Reggie was smart to assume that even if Megumi nullified the domain, he would still be stuck in it even after it was gone. And then we suddenly see Reggie come up from underground, he commanded one of the cars to bring him to the surface and using his trump card, we're now seeing he straight up just drops a house on Megumi. And this next part is really interesting. So apparently in the moment he drops the house, Megumi instantly nullified the domain, causing the house to crash down into the gymnasium and break the footing where Reggie was standing. We see him look like he's drowning, but it's because the house just made him go into the pool. And in this next part, he says, how did he move with that weight? Was it by forcing himself out of the shadow? So yeah, I wonder what did happen to the two other cars unless they disappeared along with the domain. That's also possible. And then Megumi was able to use his shadow to move away from the falling house. And then we find out that Reggie isn't able to use his receipts anymore if they get wet because then the print would disappear. But as long as the print doesn't disappear, he should be able to use them regardless even if they're wet. So then they decide to continue the fight, Megumi still using the weapon from earlier and Reggie's fighting with him barehanded. And during this, Reggie is assuming that because Megumi's used so much cursed energy on his domain that he won't be able to summon any Shikigami. But he very specifically believes he won't summon his divine dog since he thought he killed him earlier. But then out of nowhere, we see divine dog again and he just just destroys Reggie's left side. And then at the end of the chapter, he tells Megumi it all comes down to a sorcerer's lies. So is this fight really over? It's hard to say. I mean, I think Reggie has a lot of skill and potential. Maybe he has a hidden receipt or one he could still use that'll heal him, right? I don't know. Maybe like a doctor's receipt. I have no idea. I just don't feel like Reggie really dies here. I think there's a lot more he knows about the colon game that Yuji and Megumi don't. So if he survives and becomes a recurring character in this arc, like, you know, how I feel about Higurama, then I'm curious how the next chapter will go because who knows maybe Megumi actually does kill him that's also very likely but all right guys I'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching if you liked what I had to say please leave a like I'd greatly appreciate it and please let me know in the comments what you all think what you agreed or disagreed with and if you're interested in more Jujutsu Kaisen videos then make sure you subscribe I'll be doing more here on the channel for sure and yeah again thank you so much for watching guys have a great day